Friends, let us be really mindful of some of the advice that we receive in our marriages. I had an advice in my marriage, which I really regret. This is my story. Well, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, don't forget to like and share. Leave a comment. Tell us what you think about our stories as we go into the details of this episode. Now, I've been married for the past few years, but my husband is a chronic cheat. I've talked to him about his humanizing severally, but he won't change. I became fed up, and so I wanted a divorce. One day, I went to my hairstylist to dress my hair. There was one other woman who was also there for the same purpose. So we all started chatting. We were all ladies, and as such, we were willing to discuss our marital issues. So I brought up the issue of my husband cheating. Now the woman gave me her contact and asked me to call her when I get home. And I did exactly that when I got home. We had a conversation and she told me she can help me to stop my husband from cheating. I was ready to do anything to protect my marriage, so I agreed to what she had to tell me. Now she took me to a malam, and the malam gave me a substance. The malam asked me to add my menses to that substance, and depending on how long my menses lasted, I should use it to cook food for my husband for that period. Hey, in whom? Normally, my menses last for about five days, so I used my menses with the substance the malam gave me to cook for my husband for five days. Now this continued for about six months, and I saw certain changes in my husband. My husband stopped cheating on me drastically, and now comes home very early in the evening. He started spending some time with me. He only cheats on me once in a blue moon. However, I was still not comfortable with that, and so I had to go back to see the malam. Now this time around, the malam asked me to bring the sperms of my husband. It was a difficult thing for me to do because I was afraid my husband would ask me what I'm going to use his sperms for. I made him use condoms when having sex with me at times, and after that, I would take it and trash it in the bin. When he goes to work in the morning, I will go for the condom containing the sperm from the bin. I did this for about two weeks, and so I was able to gather enough sperm of my husband. I took the sperm to the malam, and it did something for me to use when cooking for my husband. I followed the instructions given me by this malam, and now my husband does not cheat anymore. He's completely submissive to me, but I've regretted my actions. My husband's sperm mixed with the substance smells very bad, and I'm feeling very guilty. The malam instructed me to use the substance in cooking till it is finished, but the scent is killing me. Sometimes, I look at him and I feel pity. I want to tell him what I've done, but I'm scared he will divorce me. I also don't know the implications if I throw the substance away. Should I go ahead and tell my husband about it? Or should I continue giving him the substance? I'm really confused. What advice do you have for me? All right, so guys, this is the story of our sister who is um, having a challenge or a problem in her marriage for the fact that she wanted to stop her husband from cheating and so had an advice or received an advice from a friend. And this advice, I can see, is not a very good one. And so now she's feeling guilty for her actions. What advice do you have for her sister? Do she continue giving the substance to her, her husband? Or should she stop? What advice do you have for her? Now, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like and leave a comment. Please share the link. Share it to your loved ones, your friends, your family, even to your enemies. Let everyone have access to this channel. Now, until we meet again, stay blessed. Be on top. Bye for now.